proceeding with our project, Doe House. Al Jaddaf is a locality in Dubai, and we as all know that Doe construction is part of the historical value of the site. So through our design, we are trying to transfer and deliver the spirit for the future generations by adapting that spirit of Doe construction and the scaffolding. So we started with three volumes, then we curved the form and angled the axes. We also stepped the form to maximize the number of apartments that will have sea view, and then we also stepped each volume in order to have roofs, uh, roofs that have a panorama view, and lastly, we integrated sky gardens. All of that, building shadow, overshadowing, and natural ventilation was uh, done to, uh, to cool the building structure and to achieve a cooling microclimate effect to the area. So we created two outdoor zones by compacting the building from the street side and then expanding it through the seaside. Um, this allows and creates a private and public spaces for uh, the residential. For our ground floor plan, it's, connect, uh, it's connecting all three buildings. And our uh, typical floor plans are different. They are showing how the sky gardens are integrated and how they are improving the experience uh, in the corridors. We have 241 apartments in total for all three buildings. So there is a small exhibition located in the ground floor. This small exhibition located at multiple areas in the ground floor. And the purpose for that is to say, uh, to tell the dog construction story. Also having the advantage that, that Mohammed Bar Rashid Library is next to us, uh, this allows for sponsored activities to be carried on for the residents, juniors or adults. Uh, they can share knowledge, they can share cultural stories, as well as for artists to exhibit their work. All of that to achieve cultural and social sustainability. We are connecting the three buildings through a mega, a mega truss for uh, the suspended corridors at multiple levels. And to develop our building envelope, we are adapting isoware products. These construction details shows how are we integrating all the materials. And this shows the experience in the corridor. So as engineers, we believe in the power of numbers. And here where we started our energy analysis. We started with a base case with, one, with 113 kilowatt hour per meter square and then developed it up to 31, having a 72% improvement. This 72% improvement was achieved through multiple strategies that will be explained briefly. So for the triple glazing that we use, it achieved 88% improvement. And the for HVAC type system, the high, efficiency, uh, the high efficiency valve, compared to the conventional one, had a 26% improvement. The next strategy is natural ventilation. Based on our analysis, we chose four months for natural ventilation. Then accordingly, we calculated the suitable number of hours. This showed an improvement of 6% on the cooling demand keeping in mind that windows will operate mechanically with respect to outdoor climate. Next is PV panels. The PV panels will be located on the highest rooftop of each building, based on a product chosen from a company located in Dubai. The PV panels achieved 25% improvement. We implemented the building energy management system, which will have daylight and occupancy sensors to control the artificial lighting and its intensity. This improves the base case by 6%. For the daylight factor and autonomy, we achieved 61% of the spatial daylight autonomy and less than 10% annual sunlight exposure in the, in the ground floor. Using the triple glazing, as we mentioned before, helped us to achieve the targeted daylight factor and light comfort for each space. All of our buildings are covered with double skin from one side, which not only emphasize the door construction concept, but also act as a noise barrier for the sound coming from the bridge. The material of the double skin contains titanium dioxide, which effectively eats smog and eliminates pollutants to improve indoor air quality. We also have climate plants in the northwest side for shading and aesthetic purposes. 
The MCH energy analysis supported our calculation for the annual cooling and heating demand. And this is our evacuation plan. And here are some perspectives to deliver the experience. Thank you. Thank you.